and welcome to the seventh video of graph theory which is on Kruskal's finding minimum spanning tree using Kruskal algorithm. So if you are directly coming to this video I request you to kindly watch video number six. In video number six we have used to solve questions using Kruskal algorithm. So I am again saying I am following the reverse engineering. First we are solving the question based on algorithm and then we are studying the algorithm. So kindly watch video number six of uh, graph theory that is which is uh, using uh, you know which is for finding minimum spanning tree uh, using Kruskal algorithm. So now we'll understand what Kruskal algorithm is all about. So I took this uh, uh, algorithm from Corman. Corman is one of the best book of DA. Uh, so I took this uh, from uh, the snapshot is from Corman. So let's discuss uh, in a given graph. So what this uh, algorithm is saying is that uh, let's understand the first step first step is saying create first step is saying create a, a set a and initialize it with phi so i'm creating a set a and initializing with phi means there is nothing in this a no there is nothing in this a now what i did there is nothing in this a second step for each vertex v so for each vertex how many vertex you have five for each vertex v belong to graph uh, vertex of graph do make set v what you have to do you have to make set make set means you have to make set of every vertex then so what i'll do i'll make a i'll make b i'll make c and i'll make a uh, d i'll make and then e so i will make this fine okay uh let me rub this I have to make a set suppose I've made a set and it should initialize with it fine fine okay now what you have this the third step is saying sort the edge e into increasing order you have already did this in a from a, from a given graph what do you do you sort that so what I did apply the Kruskal algorithm so what I did I have sorted the no what I have sorted the edges of this particular graph according to their weight so the edge are according to their weight now they are sorted in a sorted order so AB is the minimum weight so AB is one and then AD is at highest weight AD is at last position fine okay now for each edge now the thing is this for each edge uv suppose you are taking a edge uv that is ab now you are taking a edge ab that is a is u and b is v fine belongs to e does it belong to e yes it is a part of edge taken in increasing order are you taking it in an increasing order yes i am taking in increasing order do a find set u is not equal to find set v what is u a what is b uh, what is v b are they not equal in a given set yes a is in a different set b is in a different set the so condition become true the moment condition become true what you do you then add this uv to a uh, set a uh, now set a is in front of you what do you do first how what how to solve this question make a vertex exactly as above no i'll make the vertex exactly as above a, a b a c d and then you have a fine okay now what so, so you have selected a b and they are not in a uh, their their sets are not equal yes then what you do add this vertex to a so i'm adding this vertex to a and what i finally do union a a b so the moment you make a union of a b what will be the case a and b will come together fine since a has b uh, is now there in set a i'll remove it from here fine so i'll remove it from make set fine okay so now what you select de i have selected de because this is a loop you will keep on selecting now i have selected de in increasing order yes is they both are in different set yes d and e both are in different set what you do you add you add in set a and union it so when i'll add and union it uh, what will happen d and e will come like this and what i did i i add it I added it fine okay so now I'll select uh, so the, the moment you keep on selecting you have to keep uh, no add add that node add that edge in a graph also so first you have selected a b so I have selected a b fine then you have selected d e uh, then you have selected d e d e is 2 fine now you are selecting what again you are selecting b c is b and c both are in since d and e both are not here so I'll, I'll delete them now b and c are they in a different set yes b is here and c is here they both are in a different set what you do condition becomes true now you uh, take uh, you know add that particular uh, bc that you add that particular bc in uh, a so if i'll add bc in a suppose i'm adding bc and again i'm taking a union of bc and again i'm taking a union of b and c uh, so what will happen 
so b is here c is here so when you will combine c, c is here when you combine both of them what will happen a b c will come together so a b c will come together what will happen a b c will come together and d and e are separate till now fine okay now you have connected b c so what is b c b c is 3 so you have connected b c b c is 3 uh, it's something like that fine not an issue i have made some different graph not an issue so bc is 3 now now cd now take cd check that cd are in different set yes now c is uh, remove is c and d are in different set yes since they are in different set select them so i'll select cd so cd is 4 i'll select them fine and i'll combine them i'll i'll union them so when i'll combine them so they all will come together so a b c d and e fine till cd there is no cycle now see can I use A? Are they in a different set? No, A and E are in same set. I cannot select. And even you can see if you select A, E, if you select A, E, there will be a closed path. So it is not allow allowing you to select. Just because of algorithm, it is not allowing you to select. No, because a computer cannot see a cycle, but computer can 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 make an algorithm of it. So A is not, you know, it is not allowing you to select A. E. Fine. Okay. Then can you use A C? Are are A C are A and C in different set? No, A and C are in same set. So I'll not select them. So if I'll select A C, there will be a cycle. So definitely I'll not select them. A D. Can we select A D? No. No, AD are in same set. Again, condition is find set U equal to find set V. No, they are in same set. So, I will not select. So, I know also if I select AD, it will form a cycle. Fine. So, this is how the uh, uh, algorithm is working and this is your final MST. And if you now calculate the weight 134, 448 and 210. So, prior to this, when you have solved the question, you have found weight 10 and now also you are finding a weight 10. This means that algorithm is absolutely working fine. Absolutely, absolutely working fine. So, this is why I am saying I am following the reverse engineering. I am solving the question first and then I am making you understand what algorithm is saying. So, this will make the understanding of your algorithm very easy.